Look at this monster right here. It's one of our new ones, but look what it's got. Four V10s. It's pretty sweet. This thing's gotta fly. It's got steps in the hole and everything. Well, hello there and welcome. Actually, uh, gonna apologize here because I haven't been around for a while and obviously you guys probably know this already, but I have been kind of just hanging out with my kids and taking a little break from doing the YouTube thing for the past three years. But right now, you see our little blue light here. We're on a used Boston Whaler and we actually have a uh, capacitor is bad, which actually kind of leads me back to the Westerbeek thing that I was dealing with last time, which I'll show you. We'll actually go in here and I'll show you what the customer actually diagnosed and figure out himself. For some reason, I couldn't get the, uh, the thing to bleed out right, and he spent all day bleeding it, re-bleeding it, and it worked. So his boat's fixed. I did put a thermostat in it and a new cap, um, and I kept doing the same thing. It slowed it down some. I kept bleeding it, yada, yada. I'll show you where the two bleeders are and what I did when we look at this one, because this one has bad capacitors. And the reason I know that is because you got 70 volts when you're running, which means that's half the capacitors that are there. You have two. I think they're 35 microfarads, something like that, which creates the 121 or 2 volts, whatever, depending on the RPM. And that's the problem with this one. So we're going to swap those out and then fire it up and see. Hopefully we, uh, we get our voltage back. So let's just get started. All right, let's climb out of the hole here and get to our generator. I actually see somebody I want to show you guys here real quick. All right, so this guy right here is Tobin. He's one of our captains. He has started his own YouTube channel, so I'm going to put in a link. And uh, there's lots of cool information, lots of boat running, how to do things that I won't show you. So if you want to check out some more boat stuff, check out this guy. He's good. So thank you. Awesome and, uh, stuff. Yeah, you also check it out. Yeah, definitely. Let's get back to our Wester Beak here, though. But yeah, I'll definitely uh, put the link in the description for you guys. And so let's get back to fixing stuff. And if you want to see cool stuff, Definitely. Check out Tobin here. Good people. All right, so I just took the lid off here. So we can get to the top of it. Hopefully this rain stays away from us here. Get down here. Take a look at our generator here. And I'll show you what the customer did that I failed to do correctly. Let me see if I can get some of this water out. Pump works. Make sure our high water pump works. Back up, she gave us an alarm. She's working. So if you look at this thing, and the trouble I was having it where it was overheating every time is you have a high point here, and you have a point here to bleed it. So I kept bleeding it out over and over again. After I changed the thermostat, I put a new cap on it. It's kind of dark. I did it probably five, six times, ran it, bled it, ran it, bled it. And, uh, it just would not stop overheating. So the customer took over and uh, he did it. it. Took all day long, but uh, he kept fighting with it until finally it did exactly what it's supposed to do and bled all the air out. So kind of a hassle when you get to the heat exchanger on these because you have to empty the fluid all the way to the bottom because the heat exchanger is basically on the other side on the bottom here. So that's fun. But anyway, our problem here is not uh, fluid or anything. It is actually our capacitors which are back inside of here and if you look there's a nut here a nut here that is what's holding our capacitors in so all you gotta do is take off these four screws here and uh, we'll take a look at the capacitors now let's see make sure there's no more I think that should be it there we go that's kind of nice of them when you're hooking this thing up you can see to make it 240 or 120, 60 hertz, 220, 50 hertz, that's a different country. So now let me see if we can get back in here. Take a look, see, hey, there they are. You can see one of them. And they're basically just, like I say, bolted to the outside of this right there. So let me undo these real quick and uh, we'll get them out of there. Well, that would make sense why I couldn't get it out of there. Look, it's melted itself to the other side. Oh. 
I was wrong. That one wasn't the bad one. This is the bad one. Look at that, the inside of it even came apart. That's nice. So luckily they sell these in a kit here, and this is for the smaller Westerbeaks. You can actually get them for all the different sizes. I think online it shows you which ones, but if you have this guy, the three banger gas motor, this is your kit you need right here. They look, they're a little different now. You got uh, foam here. They look, made in Romania. Never seen that before. And you got some isolators here. A little bit different than the old ones, but uh, let's put these in here. There we go. One and two. We'll tighten these up and see what we got. Okay, before I put the covers and everything back on here, let's go fire this bad boy up. Down in our cabin here. Oh wait, I might need to turn on. I'm not sure which one of these is for the generator. I guess we'll just light them all up. It's gotta be one of these. I'm not sure if it's the house side or what. We have our little panels here. Hey, look at you. Start, stop. Fire it up. Let's make sure she's still pumping water like she was before with low voltage. Oh, pumping good. It sounds good. Now, let's see if those capacitors did the trick. They are on shore power, we don't want that. This is their moment of truth, here's our voltage. Let's zoom in and see what we get. Oh, look at you, 120. Let's light some stuff up here, chargers for sure. I have on, oh, let's see if these ACs work. Oh, we can transfer here. And let's turn on, oh, you hear it. Freezer plate, grill, gyro. Oh, air's on in here. Sweet. Feels good, even though it's not even sunny out. It's still 90,000 degrees. The AC is actually right here. You can hear the solenoids clicking. All right, well, that's good news. All right, so I'm gonna let this run for a little while. Let's actually go over to this 410. This is a brand new galleon here where it's quiet. All right, well, never mind, because they are actually showing this boat. There's people inside of it taking a look at it, because it's brand new. It's a cool 410. I'll show you that one. Maybe we'll take it for a ride sometime or do something, but we're back. We're gonna be making videos again. Here's another one that's cool, 60 foot. Our sweet Aquilas here, these are cool. 48, I think. That's their big fishing boat. Oh, the classic 420 Outrage. This thing's awesome. It's one of my favorites that we have here. This and the 380 are awesome. Here's number one of one. With my last video I made with the hydrofoil on the bottom of it. And our cruiser yacht here. This is a cool one too. This one sold. I think that one's for sale. The other two are for sale. 410 looks like it's probably going to be sold here. Anyway, let me jump on this one here and we'll finish our video. Alright, so if you have any questions about the Westerbeak there, let me know in the comments like always and I'll answer you if I can. But if you have low voltage, anything below 120, usually you know, 60, 70, 80, something like that, one of the capacitors has failed because you need two of them to create the 120. It's a pretty simple job. Not too difficult to get to. I'm going to go double check it here in a minute once I'm done talking to you guys here. And uh, I have a question for you. Let me know what you think about my hair. Because uh, I've just been letting it grow. And I've gotten some pretty funny comments. And you know, people I work with here I think uh, they call me Jerry Garcia. My two favorite ones though are the, what's the commercial? It's so easy a caveman can do it. That was a good one. And the other one is retired NASCAR driver. So anyway, I'm back. And uh, I'll continue shooting what I'm doing here. And kind of a different job with these 
big new boats that I'm dealing with and kind of going over all of them and trying to figure out what's wrong with them and I'm kind of in charge of what's for sale now and uh, fixing problems in brand new boats or used boats that come in and sometimes I get to diagnose other stuff but uh, anyway as always I appreciate everybody watching and I will see you next time later we just got this one in right here and it's sold right away but this one has a v10 on it too and it's just a bay boat I guess they ran it and it's scary fast probably 60 miles an hour or better walking the chines on this one what kind of prop do we have got yeah, 22R four blade yeah this thing scoots oh it's got a power pole on it too